It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson, and it is my pleasure to be with Shaquille. Tonight, it'll be the Golden State Warriors going up against the San Antonio Spurs. Well, for San Antonio, they're looking to come out strong and make their mark early. They have to look at this game as a great opportunity to do just that. Let's talk about Clay Thompson, uh, one of the best wings in the end. We've got an electric crowd here in Golden State's Oracle Arena. We've got the San Antonio Spurs facing the Golden State Warriors. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports as we get set to bring you some terrific NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan, and here with me tonight, Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke reporting from the sideline. So Golden State will get the first possession. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. On the floor for San Antonio, Parker and Green are the guard pairing. Kawhi Leonard is out there with LaMarcus Aldridge, and it's Duncan in at the five down low. Now the Warriors moving it up, Thompson with the ball, and there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here following the goaltending call. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. Early on last year, it was clear Steph Curry was just on another level. He's an MVP candidate right from the start of the season, and he would eventually be voted that award. And, and I thought very deserving. You, you could see how he elevated his play, and, and so many of us, and so much talk focuses on what he does offensively. Bro, he was ahead of the snake of a terrific defensive group for Golden State a season ago, and that's one reason why he ended up being the MVP. Here's Parker. We're about one minute into the first. Duncan outside. And the wide open shot from Green. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Warriors have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. A shot by Curry, no good. Yeah, real nice shot selection there. I, I guess he's working on his buzzer beater form. That's a reach, but perhaps that is the case. Or maybe, maybe he was trying to knock a bird off of the scoreboard. He's <laughs> <laughs> about right. Because I still can't figure that one out. No, right. no, and I see no birds up there. No. For San Antonio, they've gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. It's stolen by Bogut. Oh, and here we go. Green's got it. The pass break chance. That one goes. Come on. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Warriors. And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnovers. They also came out of the locker room with their running shoes on. I mean, their transition game has been full throttle. Here's Duncan after the made shot from Clay Thompson. Six to shoot. The leaner inside. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. What a year for the Warriors. Clark won their division for the first time in 39 years. Ran away with the very tough Western Cup. And there were a number of surprises last season, Kevin, but the Warriors were at the top of the list. I mean, I don't think anybody, including you and I, pegged them to be as good as they were. Especially the way the finals began. Exactly. And the Warriors won 51 games back in 2014 and proved that mark by 16 wins last season. Among teams that won at least 50 games in the previous year, that 16-game improvement was an NBA record for the Warriors. Leonard dishes to Green. Duncan kicks to Green. Aldrich a screen. Nobody near Parker. Trains the three-pointer. Parker's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Warriors leading by three. It goes without saying the Warriors set franchise records all over the place with their play. Their win total being the highest ever, but also of note was it was the first time they've won 50 games in back-to-back -back season. They seem to truly have arrived as a top-notch franchise in this current state of the NBA. And Leonard gets it to go. Golden State's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. It's Curry. That time on the assist by Hope. And 
seven points for Steph Curry. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Time dropping delights is what I call it. Uh, yeah, it's a nice pass. I will give you that one. Yep. He's on the money. And it's Harrison Barnes with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And the Warriors with some changes. Spates checked in for Bogut. And it's Iguodala in for Harrison Barnes. The Spurs also changing it up. Boris Diaz checked in for Duncan. And it's Ginobili in for Daniel Green. Thompson with the bucket. Thompson, Thompson's got six. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Ginobili. In transition, here comes San Antonio. Deflects the pass. Diaw, the pass to Ginobili. Stolen by Thompson. Green kicks to Curry. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Spurs trail by eight. And remember, Clay Thompson's father, Michael Thompson, a former number one pick out of Minnesota. Growing up, he was the smallest of his brothers and thereby took his lumps when they play hoop. But he said that challenge helped him to develop into the player he is today. And Clay Thompson, born into an athletic family. His father, the former number one overall pick in the NBA draft. And Marcus Mott was a Division I volleyball player. And you know, Thompson, despite those genes, was not a highly recruited player out of high school. Grew up in UCLA's backyard, but ended up playing college ball at Washington State. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Azili's checked in for Green. Barbosa comes in for Thompson. And it's Livingston in for Curry. San Antonio also making some changes. West comes in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And it's Mills in for Tony Parker. West with the steal. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Leonard dishes to Diaw. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Mills can't hit. He's always going to have a difficult time finishing when the defense is in his face like that. Livingston, that's good. Three consecutive baskets have come right at the rim. Defensive better start buckling down and tightening up. Guys, they are getting exposed in terms of their low post defense. And it's out of bounds to the Spurs as San Antonio retains possession. Fifty-six seconds left in the first quarter. Mills passes to West. And here comes Livingston leading the fast break. Spates and the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Running it right down their throats. Three straight buckets in transition. Yeah, and they're paying the price right now for the lackluster defense. For me, that's inexcusable. It's not winning basketball when you're attempting shots like that. Yeah, come on now. You got to remember it's a team game. He's got four teammates out there with him. I don't think he needs to try to do it all by himself like that. About three seconds between shot and game clock. West kicks to Ginobili. The shot's good on the assist by West. Really good awareness right there on the assist. 17 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Livingston dishes to Iguodala. Let's it go from 11, and he can't bank that one in. Ginobili kicks to Leonard. Not loose. Iguodala with the steal. Azili. and an overpowering first quarter effort. And we had the chance to catch up with Greg Popovich and he talked about how he felt Tony Parker. To be in the conversation I think is totally Not breaking it down and telling it like it is as usual, Clark. You gotta love having a guy like that as your coach. Without question, I mean, you have no idea how huge that is for a player to get that kind of support and backing from his coach. Is Tony Parker a great all-star and champion? In my book, absolutely without question. But would he have reached that level without Greg Popovich as his coach? I think even Tony would tell you, probably not. Welcome back, everyone. A lopsided first quarter in the books already as we start the second quarter. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Anytime you can get to the rim consistently early in the game, it allows you to get into a good rhythm offensively. It really does. I mean, it's a lot easier to get buckets inside. That's elementary, and they've done that through one. 
It's the Splash Brothers, Curry and Thompson. They're in the backcourt. Barnes and Green of a forward set. And it's Bogut and it's them. That's the Warriors five. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Green against Aldridge. Green passes to Duncan. And the Warrior lead has been cut down to eight. Again, the points coming from Patrick Mills. The offense has a better flow, and it actually looks better here in the second quarter. It does. They're playing with a little bit more bounce in their step and trying to close this gap. And Steph Curry with the foul. That's his first foul. You know, right call. Gave the officials no choice there. I mean, they've got to make that call over the back. Yeah. I mean, he went chest first into the man in front of him. My goodness, I'm not an official and I could have gotten that one right. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. Last season, Draymond Green taking over the starting power forward role in Golden State. Last season, David Lee was in, remember, in preseason. Green was inserted, uh, and he's been terrific ever since. Absolutely superb. A former second-round pick, his emergence has fueled this team's rise to greatness. Warriors leading by 10. Thompson left side. Finish off the break. Thompson's got six here in this quarter. Just a great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, you know, exploding to the basket like that, Greg, just as soon as that ball was going the other way, that's um, exactly how you want to do it. Oh, that's a tough three-point try when you've got the defense right there. Well, he'd have to be really good to knock down a shot like that against that kind of defense. From deep, Green, and that comes off the assist by Duncan. Green's got seven points in the game. A wide-open three. They need much better communication defensively. And you can tell they're just a little out of sync. I think he just wants to get everybody back on the same page. Yeah, I like this timeout, Greg. I think it's a good one because it looks like they need a, a minute to talk things through here. Thompson for three. The offensive rebound. They kick it out to Green. Launches a three. And the rebound goes to Duncan. Spurs trail by nine to the inside. Mills with it, and Curry picks him up defensively. And Parker with the basket on the assist by Mills. Parker's got his second basket. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. That's good. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening. It, it really is, Clark. The defenders need to do a better job of closing those lanes to the hoop. The Warriors, another fast break opportunity here. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And San Antonio called for the foul. And Draymond Green, guys, has won at every level. I mean, led Saginaw High School to two consecutive state championships at Michigan State, two trips to the Final Four, and now making noise with the Warriors. It's clear this guy's a winner. And here's a little known fact, Clark. Only three players have recorded at least two triple-doubles in the NCAA tournament. They are Oscar Robertson, Magic Johnson, and Draymond Green. That's some elite company for Draymond Green. He's a hard worker, a guy you love if he's on your team. He can be an irritant if he's not with you, but continues to improve and prove his doubters wrong. Here's Green. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Green's got nine points. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. Curry can't get it to go. Spurs trail by six. Mills dishes to Aldrich. Here's Green. Aldrich trying to break free. And the Spurs scoring again. Well, this here is a game. Good run to close the gap. Yeah, they've done a great job to get back within striking distance. Really a solid comeback effort here. Second chance effort, and the shot is long. Here's San Antonio now. They're on an 11 to 3 run. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Some nice numbers in this one for Green. He's got 11 points, and from long range, he's hit one three pointer. And when it's all said and done, I got a sneaky suspicion he's going to have a few more. And the Warriors with a completely new five on the floor. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. 
David West, he's checked in for Duncan. Diao comes in for LaMarcus Alton. Leonard, he's checked in for Parker. And it's Ginobili in for Patty Mill. And he gets it to go. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Feeds it to Leonard. On the wing, the Warriors pull it in. For a while, the Spurs were viewed as a slow-it-down team from their championships almost a decade ago. That isn't the case at all anymore. You know, it, I think it took the viewing public quite a while to catch on, though, Kevin, because now most people look at the Spurs as one of the more exciting brands of basketball in our league. Just watching one game of them, and, and now you know that is the case. Warriors leading by seven. Here's Azili. No good off the back of the rim. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. And Leonard gets it to go. You always hear about chemistry. That's a perfect example, knowing where each other is at all times. On its way from Barbosa for two. Tries again. Azili can't get it to go. Major defensive laps right there. And he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for him. And again, it's the Warriors missing. To the middle. It's deflected and stolen by space. Diaw with the steal. And now running up the court. Leonard pushing it up. Shot from 12. The rebound by Azili. Azili's got three rebounds now in this one. And Iguodala gets it to go in on the assist from Spates. And the Warriors lead by seven. And they've looked terrific in transition today. That's had a lot to do with their success. Boy, oh, it certainly has. I mean, they've done a really good job recognizing any time they've had the numbers advantage, and then they've taken advantage. And we've seen it time and time again here. Ginobili outside. Green. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And so we could. Thank you, Kip. And now, the 2K Sport. Clay Thompson putting in some serious. And now the third quarter about to get going. Clay Thompson has been sensational. I, I know we've said this many times before, but what a great first half. Just an offensive juggernaut. And, you know, in the end, I wouldn't be surprised if we're talking about what a great second half he had, guys. I mean, he can usually keep it going for all four quarters. Here's who Greg Popovich is starting in the second half. The always reliable Parker and Green in the backcourt. Duncan is out there with LaMarcus Aldridge. And it's Leonard in at the three spot. And it's sent back by Bogut. Barnes kicks to Bogut. Shoots the three. But they'll get another chance. They get it back. Green persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Well, they've come out and done a great job of getting some easy baskets from fast breaks. You like to see that. And when you don't allow that defense to set up and get out in transition, offense comes a lot easier for you. And one thing that everybody loves about Coach Pop is his frankness. You get a taste of it in interviews, but he's as honest and straightforward with you as he is with anybody else. From 10 feet out, and he gets that one to go off the front iron. And that's now nine points for Leonard. Well, you've got Greg Popovich, and I think he puts this at times grumpy demeanor in, in, a, in more of a spotlight. And he's playing along, as we all know, with the sideline reporters. He knows, uh, Greg, you know this firsthand when to turn it on, when to turn it off. He can be as compassionate a person, uh, Clark, that you and I have ever been around. Yeah, he's competitive, but he understands that we're all human and he treats people the right way all the time. Curry shot is off. Boy, even though he missed, you can't give up that kind of a look very often. It's better to be lucky than good sometimes. Fortunately, they didn't get burned on that one. Barnes. It's rebounded by Aldrich. Aldrich has got his third rebound tonight. He continues to struggle from the field. But luckily for him and his team, his teammates have been able to pick him up and get the job done. The Spurs shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Boy, I tell you, the Warriors did something that no other team had ever done before. They ended the regular season ranked first in field goal percentage and field goal percentage defense. 
Essentially, they were the best offensive and defensive team in the league. Remarkable. Here's Parker. He nails it, and we're tied up. Parker's got seven. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Deflects the pass. The drive by Green. In transition, here comes San Antonio. Parker leading the charge. Green with the ball. Now Green defending. Here's Barnes. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Last season for the Warriors really dominated from beginning to end to lead the league and Greg both offensive and defensive efficiency. And Kevin, a lot of people knew the Warriors were good at offense. I mean, but they've been equally as good defensively over the past few seasons. Kind of flying under the radar for whatever reason. Not the case going forward. Here's Green. And that one comes up a bit short. That's one he knows he should have drained. And so they foul intentionally. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. This lost sense of time and the situation. For the lead, and it's Aldridge missing. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slice. And Draymond Green picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Mano Ginobili, he's checked in for San Antonio. Parker kicks to Duncan. Back to Parker. A three ball. That's good from Ginobili on the assist by Parker. Ginobili's got five now. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. And now's the time for them to step on the gas pedal. Don't let up. Keep letting it fly from deep and build that lead. Play through the finish line, not to it. Keep the pressure on. And the Warriors making a change here. Spades is checked in. West is checked in for the Spurs. A nice bounce back here for Harrison Barnes, Clark, in year three. Moved into the starting lineup last year and really responded. Yeah, he did. I think he benefited from the new system. He was miscast as an isolation score, but when he can spot up for threes and catch the ball on the move, that's his game. Catching up on the changes for Golden State. Iguodala comes in for Barnes, and it's Livingston in for Clay Thompson. San Antonio also making a switch. Boris Diaz checked in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And out of bounds as San Antonio gains possession. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. Leandro Barbosa. He's checked in for Steph Curry. <laughs> I tell you what, Harrison Barnes, very athletic. He certainly passes the eye test. And, and with his size, he can punish smaller wings and, and create mismatches. And then also he can play some, some small ball power forward at times as well with the way they like to space the floor. Good. Now it's a seven-point Spurs lead and a chance now to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Spurs. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort to the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And I also love what they've done defensively in terms of closing out to the shooters, getting a hand up, just making them feel a little uncomfortable on the offensive end. Azili's checked in for Green. And you talk about Harrison Barnes overall. He had a nice uptick in his rebounding last year. And that was a goal of his. He wanted to get his activity level up. And oftentimes, the difference between being good and great is just making those small incremental improvements in different facets of the game. And Ginobili wide open. He shoots. Offensive rebound. Spurs inside. It's stolen. That was clearly a forced pass. There was no room for him to make it. Here is Livingston. It's rebounded by Boris Diaw. Diaw's got three rebounds so far in the game. On 
Manu Ginobili on the wing. Iguodala with the steal. And now it's Livingston running. He can go all the way. Stolen by Ginobili. And a fast break now for the Spurs. Here's West. And he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. That's how you make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. The floor is open. Take care of business. Always an advantage when you can get out in the open floor. You get much better rhythm offensively. And this lead, I think, is headed up. And yes, sir, that one drops. And the Spurs lead by six. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. That's a good strategy when you're on top. The Warriors have gone two of four at the free throw line. And last season, 77% from the line. They could easily get the job done there. You know, success at the line just became contagious for them. A few guys got on a roll, and it carried over to the rest of the team. Green, he's checked in for Patty Mill. Shinobi can't hit. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. And out of bounds is San Antonio gains hey, possession. Kid, All right, let's go. 19 seconds left here in the third quarter. Parker passes to Ginobili. Down low, here's West. And it's good on the assist by Parker. Seven points for David West. What a passing display he has put on here tonight. Yeah, he's spoiling his pig. I mean, this just another fantastic dime dropped right there. That one certainly should make the highlight reel. And that's it for the third quarter. Oh, welcome back as we get set to start the fourth. Warriors trail by eight. Thompson is the two with Barnes at the three. Green at the four with Bogan at the five. And it's Curry in at the one. That's the Warriors five. Leonard attacking, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. And it goes on Draymond Green. Well, you, you know that Kawhi Leonard has an incredible reach with his arms, but even his hands are just massive, measured at 10 inches long and 11 inches wide. Wow. Leonard hits them both. Well, to give some perspective on Leonard's hand size, Greg was talking about Clark. Those measurements, 11 by 10, are what you typically would find on seven footers. Well, this kid's 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, yeah, and I'm 6'9", and I'm about 9 by 7, okay? Huh. So that just lets you know. Wow. The only other hands comparable to that, Dr. J. Ooh, that's huge. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Duncan. You take a risk with those long passes. They're lucky the D couldn't collect it. Poked away. It's stolen by Green. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Oh, and here comes Barnes all alone. And he gets the bucket. And the offense has just operated really smoothly here in the open floor. Yeah, and for them to reduce the lead, they should keep the pace brisk. I mean, that's how they've generated the highest quality shots. And Curry, here we go, uses the glass to finish the way. Curry's got four points now in the quarter. Loose D here. Critical stretch. I mean, you better off sending them to the free throw lines and have them get that good a look. And that one's good by Aldridge. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Kawhi Leonard with another great season last year earned his first Adventure Player of the Year award with his outstanding play. And, and for Leonard, he became the first perimeter player to win one since 2004. That, that just shows you how incredible his defense was at times. Warriors trail by six. Curry with it. He's picked up by Parker. And the call will be against LaMarcus Aldridge. That's his first foul. LaMarcus Aldridge. First person foul, first. It's stolen by Green. That's just a foolish mistake right there, guys. Yeah, inexcusable. You just cannot allow that to happen. 
Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. He's not exactly striping them from deep. He had one three ball in the first half. Still bageled in the second. Here's Barnes. Curry wide open. Again, Curry missing. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. And the wide open shot from Duncan. A three pointer, no good. Golden State's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And it comes off the front of the rim. I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you got to take. And Leonard gets it to go. Tim Duncan, even in his advanced years, showing you that great vision and still getting it done. Nice pass. We'll get with it. Guarded now by Duncan. And the Warriors miss again. Spurs leading by 10. Green kicks to Aldridge. Here's Parker. Good, and Aldridge gets the assist. Aldridge has got four assists in the game. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And that's because the ball is looking for the best shot, and it's really paid off for them during the run. Here's Green. It's rebounded by Golden State. Green's got six rebounds here tonight, and out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession. Spurs have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. Four of nine. And Leonard has it in the corner. The Warriors pull it in. Bogut's got his... Oh! 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 Back, Kevin. What range on that shot. It's amazing. They've been very untidy with the ball here. Commit turnovers when you try to do... They can't guard us on the perimeter. Spread the floor. It's on making the simple play. Good Basic. passes and moving the Basic. ball around. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris? Kevin, Greg Popovich was just going over the plan with his team. He was propping his guys up for their defensive pressure, saying, listen, the pressure you put on them has been fantastic. Keep pestering them, keep forcing turnovers, and we'll be in a great position to win this thing. All right, Doris, and that one's good. I mean, you got to be honest, So The transition defense just has been lacking. Yeah, fast break points all over the place. I mean, at some point, you've got to make the commitment to sprint back and then slow them down and stop the ball. And, and his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. And if the shot's not there, you've got to understand that move the basketball. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not quite sure what his mindset or what he was thinking there. I mean, that was just a terrible shot. And he gets it to go. And he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. San Antonio leading by seven. Aldridge dishes to Parker. Duncan the pass to Green. That's good. And so Duncan with the assist. I think they're trying to go for the kill here. I mean, they're starting to take a lot more three-point shots than they had been before looking to run away. And as long as you keep getting Quality looks, the coaches should have no complaints. Play with confidence. And that's an aggressive play to try to get the rebound. Just a little too aggressive. And unnecessary. That's over the top. That's doing too much, Greg. He wasn't in good position there, and he was never going to get the ball. He just wasted a foul. The Spurs making a switch here. Ginobili's checked in. And you could tell they had that play ready to go. Well done on the inbound. Parker drives in. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. And since halftime, he has been a different player. Here's Curry with the three. Ginobili grabs the board. Tell you what, the defense has nothing to worry about out there with him shooting. I mean, you can't dial it in from deep this half at all. Warriors trail by 10. Curry. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. It's been a solid outing for Curry. He's got 13 points and some big-time defense with the three steals, too. I tell you what, he's made his mark on this game in so many ways, guys. And, and he would have stood out just on the strength of the defense. But how about offensively 
He's been clicking there as well. Stephen Curry hits them both. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive, Greg. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. Finish off the break. He has been fantastic this quarter, guys. It's just the kind of effort they need if they're going to continue to trim the lead. It's stolen by Green. It's going to be tough for him here, but maybe, just maybe, it's not over yet. Cannot afford any empty possessions. They've got to recycle everything, partner. Just not enough bodies on the glass right there, and they pay for it. Well, Greg, I know you're a little guy, but you know what it means to box out, and it's an effort thing and a mindset deal. you got to get your body between that other player and the ball. And even though he missed that, you have to take those shots when you get the opportunity. Exactly. They don't come much better or easier than that. And now we've got the intentional foul. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Good work at the line to stretch that lead out a little bit. One second separating the shot clock and game. Buries it. Knocked away. Stolen by Thompson. It falls. And he has brought them to within two points. What a bucket at one of the more crucial moments of the game. How about the cool, collected way in which he delivered it? What? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. Sure. It's not over. The clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. And thanks to his good work at the line there, now we have a two possession ball game. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They trail by four. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Yeah, time a huge factor right now. They've got to get points and then the foul. Yeah, it has to be quick because every tick is critical. And they need to stop the clock so there's a foul. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And the second of two is good. That makes it a three-point lead. A timeout called by Golden State. They're losing by three. They've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? And you know what? You've got a couple options here. You can take the three to tie it or get the quick two and then a five. And you know, if it opens up from inside, the quick two would be the way I would lean, Greg. But the foul has to come immediately after. They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. And so he drops them both. It's a three-point game. Absolutely massive free throw. That'll force them into a three-point attempt. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're down by three. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Curry. It falls. And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. And, and since halftime, this has become an intense ball game. Simply phenomenal, Greg, the effort we've seen from both sides here. The one-hand slam is so sweet when it's his hand doing the slam. Oh, yeah, he is so smooth, even on a power finish like that. And, and really, that's what makes him unique, that combination of power and polish. And so it's San Antonio who's straight by with the win. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. David, obviously a very productive second unit. How does that change this basketball team when they play like that? Uh, I mean, they set the tone. Uh, and we're 
very deep team. Our fans are going to have an advantage most nights. David, thank you. Kevin, depth always important in the NBA. Doris, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now let's move on to the presentation of our Tony Parker. He had just an outstanding fourth quarter performance. He really had the fire lit under him. And down the stretch, really having a huge impact on the outcome of this game. Tony Parker is putting on a show. The say Bone Assassin does it again. Man, see, he started out as a traditional one guard, bringing the ball up, getting to the back filler. But now, the team, it leans on him. Well, he reminded us all of how dangerous he is as a slasher. He drove the lane time and time again and got points inside to show for it. An explosive, hard-charging performance. I loved it. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. But we're just getting started on a new season in the NBA for Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan and the entire 2K sports crew. I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again soon.